Hello, I'm Chef Don McMillan. Well, rice pilaf is a favorite dish of mine. It goes with just about anything I can cook. But how to make it flavorful is the key. I'm Chef Don McMillan, and I'm going to show you how to make the perfect rice pilaf. Here's how we do it. Starting with some butter. You could use margarine or oil if you wish. What we're going to do is to saute some vegetables. And we've diced these vegetables up earlier. And what I'm going to do is add in some onion. Some diced onion. Always such a good flavor. I have some diced celery. We'll put some of that in there. And some diced carrots. What a way to get your family to eat their vegetables, huh? Leave these vegetables out if you wish, but I would not leave out the onions. I think that's very important. So why are we cooking the vegetables before we do anything? because of the flavor. Everything we do is about the flavor. So quite honestly, I tell this to my chefs and my students, is that if it's really not about the flavor, it's not about anything. So we are going to develop the flavor by simply just cooking the onions and the celery and the carrots. What's going to happen is that the natural sugars that are in the vegetable are going to come out. And as they come out, they're going to hit the bottom of the pan. And what happens when sugar hits heat? It turns to caramel. And caramel just makes everything taste so flavorful. And that's what it's about. That's why when you cook onions, people just smell it and they're just naturally hungry. My friend Justin Wilson has a saying, if you want to make somebody mad at you, invite them to your house, cook some onions and bacon, and don't give them any. He said it works every time. So, you'll see in the bottom of this pan now, it's starting to turn brown. And what is happening in there is that the sugar is coming out of the vegetables. And the sugar, when it hits the bottom of the pan, like I said, turns to caramel. You know, if you want another experiment, you can just take some sugar and put it in a saute pan, put it on the moderate heat, let it cook, and it'll start bubbling and it'll turn to a liquid and the liquid will turn to caramel. But take the heat off really quick because it'll start to burn and once it starts to burn, all bets are off because then it really becomes your problem but if you can just catch it beforehand. Okay, now, mm, that just smells so good. And the bottom of my pan is getting more brown and more brown and more brown because more sugar and more sugar is coming out of these vegetables. I'm going to give it another minute and then I'm going to do something else that's going to make my rice really happy and that is I'm going to cook the rice with the vegetables before I add any liquid. And I'm just using regular converted rice so there really is no special rice to this recipe, but the special thing is I'm cooking it in there. So now I've got the butter, i got the juices from the carrots and the celery and the onions and they're all cooking together and I'm going to do this for about one or two minutes. The bottom of my pan is still brown. Don't let that dismay you. We're not burning anything. So there won't be any burnt flavor, but there'll be lots of good flavors in this dish. Wonderful flavors that will just make you come back for more. It's a simple recipe and you remember the numbers one and the numbers two, then you can really do this dish because I'm using one cup of rice and two cups of liquid. Now the liquid I'm using today is chicken stock. This is the stock that we made earlier. You can use water if you wish, but let me tell you, chicken stock does the trick. Now when I put it in the pan, it's gonna sizzle. That's what we're looking for, that nice sizzle. Listen to this. Okay, let that sizzling begin. That rice is hot. And now I'm going to give it a little stir because all those goodies that are on the bottom of the pan, I want them now to jump up and join the rice as it's cooking. And it will. It'll cook such a beautiful, beautiful rice. It'll be flavorful. It'll actually have add a little color to it from the caramel, which is what we're looking about. Now, I don't use stock. I didn't use salt in my stock. So I'm going to add a little salt. But if you buy that inexpensive stock, please look at the label. Because if there's sodium in it, you really don't need to add any more sodium to your dish, okay? I know it needs it because I don't have sodium in my stock that I make myself. So now, here's the other key thing. When it starts to come to a boil, see that roiling boil like that? Now we're just going to turn it down to the lowest number. 
Okay, so there, if you got uh, a range that says one on it, just turn down to one, cover it, and then set your timer for 18 minutes. And then when this timer goes off, your rice is done. It couldn't be more easier. Turn the heat off. Rice will stay hot in the pot, covered, for three hours. So we'll be back in a few minutes. <coughs> Recording five, four, three. Wait, stop. I didn't have my glasses on before. Okay. Try that again. Recording five, four, three. Okay, well, our rice should be done. So let's just open the pot and let's see. And, yep, there it is. Perfect rice peel off. And what we want to do is to get ready to serve it. So I have a little decorative pan here. I'll just spray it with a little bit of kitchen spray like that. And then we'll just take our spoon and we'll spoon it into our decorative pan. Here's our rice. It's loaded with great flavor. Of course, we added those wonderful vegetables in there. So we actually have the carrots and the celery and the onions. And oh my goodness, it's just so good in there. And by the way, this is just one cup of rice. So you know, one cup of rice will feed easily four people. But the key to everything we do is about the flavor. So here's what we're doing. We're just taking this flavorful rice. We're going to make it a little bit of eye appeal by placing it into this mold. Let's pat it down just a little bit like that. And then we're going to turn it upside down in our decorative platter. Trying to get a hold on it. upside down and create a mold. So there's our heart. And we'll place on there our chicken that we had sauteed earlier. This is our chicken scallopini. So chicken breasts, flavorful, delicious. I chopped up a little bit of cilantro or a little parsley, and uh, there it is, a wonderful meal that was created from scratch using great ingredients and wonderful flavor.